Hi everyone, my name is Tim Perry and I'm one of the training specialists here at Reckon. Today we're going to look at how you can activate and deactivate cache registers as well as add additional cache registers in Reckon Cloud Pods. The first thing you want to do is navigate to your portal and sign in. Once you're there, select Reckon Cloud Pods on the left hand navigation bar and you'll be able to see your stores. The first thing we'll do is add an additional cache register. So to do this, we select the store that we want to add an additional cache register to and we select the ellipses in the top right hand corner of that store. We select manage your subscriptions and all we need to do at this point is type in a name for our new cache register. Let's call this one example register. We select add register and what you'll notice is that example register has been added to your cart and your new monthly total has been summed up at the bottom over here. Go ahead and press next. Check your credit card details and press submit. Once it's loaded, you'll notice that when you press the green button, you'll now have your example register, your main register, which comes with your store, as well as your management system. So that's how we can add new cash registers in Reckon Cloud Pause. Once we've added a new cache register, we can easily deactivate it. For example, if we have points during the year where it's less busy and we don't need both cache registers, we can simply select the ellipses again, press manage your subscriptions, and we can turn off the example cache register. You'll notice that it updates the billing again on the right hand side and I can go ahead and press submit. It'll bring you back to your portal screen and from here, once it becomes busy again, say in the next couple of months, we can select the ellipses once again, hit manage your subscriptions, and we can easily toggle the example register back on. And once again, our billing has been updated. An important point to remember in doing this is that even if you deactivate your cash register, we will store your data for you, so there's no need to worry. Thank you for watching our video on activating and deactivating as well as adding additional cash registers. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at training at and see our other how-to videos if you need extra support.